this PowerPoint describes staining, hemosiderin deposition after sclerotherapy. The most common complication after sclerotherapy is staining. In fact, all treated vessels when they clot will have some staining as the clot resolves. We refer to this type of staining as linear. This is thrombus inside the lumen before eventual fibrosis occurs. The histological slide of red cell extravasation through the vessel wall. Another type of staining is when the sclerosin is too strong of a concentration and vessel wall disruption occurs. Due to the red cell extravasation, diffuse staining occurs. This can also occur after foam injection of spider veins. This patient had minimal staining after sclerotherapy using subdermal tumescent incisions and flushing. This is linear staining that results from hemosiderin deposition after clotting. The amount of clotting post-procedure was minimal, hence the small amount of staining that occurred. Note the excellent results here. There is minimal staining present. One way to decrease staining is to flush the vessel right after scleral therapy, especially if sub subdermal tumescent is used. In this patient, we use polydocanol due to possible asthma or maybe some other respiratory issue. So we use polydocanol 0.33% and tumescent-assisted sclerotherapy. Even with flushing, linear staining still occurred. So you'll want to reduce the sclerosin concentration when doing tumescent-assisted sclerotherapy. Use polydocanol 0.25%. Patients who have marked sun damage to skin, including the precursor to celery elastosis, actinic purpura, are prone to develop diffuse staining due to bruising. Anticoagulation may also produce the same pattern. Now, some people bruise considerably, no matter what you do, she's been on Eloquence. And even though we stopped it, she has multiple large varicosities. Just from the injection, she bruises. So we're going to try to relieve some of this bruising acutely. So you can see right now we're doing the tumescent all under here. Then we're going to take a leaven blade. We're just going to make a little nick in some different places. And try to express all we can. You can see some of the fluid coming out. This decompresses a lot of them red cells in the, uh, in actually in the dermis, and maybe they'll have less of a chance to stain after we do this. So you can see it's down in size now, it's starting to look better. We did the same thing up here, it looks really good now in this area. Okay. Notice that there is a decrease in the area of the bruise after evacuation of the coagulum. This patient has aneurysmal dilatation of the telangiectasia intradermally. More about the techniques to address this later. However, staining is prone to occur with this pattern. This patient had two treatments with excellent results. The first treatment was with tumescent-assisted sclerotherapy. The second treatment was sclerotherapy alone six weeks later. The average for clearance is one to two treatments, even in large complexes in our clinic. Here are some tips to avoid staining. Always use the lowest concentration of a sclerosin. Empty the spider vein with manual compression after injection and prevent refilling if possible or flushing. Consider using subdermal tumescent with incision and flushing. The goal is to reduce the lumen size during the post-treatment period. We find that compression for 48 hours post-treatment using a pool noodle wrapped in cast padding, dermica cream, and secured with HIPAFIX decreases staining post-treatment. This is an abstract of a paper describing the use of deferoxamine mesylate to decrease staining post therotherapy. We have not had a patient who we thought was a candidate for this. Dermica cream with added licorice extract. Nature's most potent lightener is the licorice root extract. Extract from the licorice root is naturally high in glabrodin. This chemical inhibits tyrosinase. This enzyme is essential for starting the cycle of discoloration. 
Licorice extract needs a carrier to penetrate the skin. We use Dermica Cream because it already has licorice root extract in it, but we add more for staining. We instruct our patients to add two to three drops to a scoop of Dermica Cream and apply it three times a day. Finally, see the patient within two weeks and evacuate any trapped coagulum as demonstrated in our PowerPoint, excess clotting after scleral therapy.